summer's day 70 million years ago. The Arctic, but not the barren, icy landscape we know. The Earth is a much warmer place, and in summer, round-the-clock sunlight supercharges the forest vegetation. A fertile feast for some of the planet's biggest and hungriest creatures. Dinosaurs. There are thousands of vegetarians here, all making the most of the boundless food. A spiky ankylosaur. She likes to feed alone. Others are more sociable, herd animals who eat together, like these at Montesaurus. This is one of the youngest members of the herd. We'll call him Scar, a name he'll earn soon enough. Since he hatched in the spring, the sun hasn't stopped shining. There's plenty to eat, and he has the company and protection of his extended family. Life is pretty good, for now. But this will all change for Scar. The 24-hour daylight will soon fade. And 24-hour night will take its place. There are already signs that summer is letting go. The dark times are coming for everyone. Patch is a young male troodon. This carnivore has feasted all summer on baby Edmontosaurus. Unfortunately for him, his favorite food is now bigger than he is. So Patch must look for other game. As dinosaurs go, Troodon are clever, born to hunt and kill, so Patch has natural talent, but as yet, not much clue how to use it. What goes in, must come out, that much Patch gets. But he hasn't learned to cover all the exits. Thanks to the bigger Troodon, this is one meal that's gone begging. A hungry and frustrated Patch needs to get his act together, and quickly.
The sun is weakening. Winter is approaching fast. Scar now has to deal with something completely alien, unexpected, and very, very dangerous. Something he has never seen before. Nightfall. Caught out, Scar can't see danger coming. He's in the dark, at the mercy of whatever is out there. This is no time to be away from the herd. Here in the Arctic, the first night of autumn lasts just a moment. Danger fades with the dawn. But the encounter has left its mark. Scar is wounded, but at least now he's safely back in the herd. But the coming winter will steal a little more light from every day. Soon, the sun will disappear completely. Then the herd must leave on a great march south to find enough food and light to survive the winter. As the weeks pass, the forest begins to wither and die. This is no longer a land of plenty. The competition for what food is left is about to get much tougher.
The Edmontosaurus males bellow a warning. Something is coming. Another dinosaur is here in force. This is a herd of Pachyrhinosaurus. Two ton headbangers. The brains inside these thick skulls are no bigger than a bird's, but their reinforced heads make excellent battering rams, which they'll use against anything that gets between them and their food. For the first time in his life, Scar is hungry. The same goes for Patch. While he is well equipped to survive a cold, dark winter, he still has to eat. Troodon's brain is wired for high-speed pursuit. His reactions are so fast, it's as if he sees in slow motion. But some meals are still too quick for him. Time is running out. If he doesn't get the hang of this soon, he'll starve. With the cupboard bare, Scar must hunt out every last scrap of nourishment. The ankylosaur is doing the same. An experienced old hand at survival, she's taken to eating rotten wood the grubs and insect larvae inside, providing a little extra protein to keep this three-ton vegetarian on the move. Scar, reared on a diet of soft leaves and plants, must develop a taste for this new, harsher diet. Summer paradise is a distant memory. It will soon be time to leave. As every night stretches longer than the last, it's the predators that have the upper hand. The adults corral their young, using their own bodies as a last line of defense against the night stalkers. 
They know their enemies prowl out there in the darkness. After his terrifying narrow escape, Scar is wary. Nothing will entice him to venture beyond the herd's protection. Nothing except perhaps a scrap of food. Fear finally holds Scar back, but for one young female, the compulsion to eat is more than she can bear. Gorgosaurus. At 30 foot long and 2 tons, this is the T-Rex of the North Pole. Equipped with highly sensitive night vision, he is the consummate nocturnal killer. The young dinosaur never stood a chance. For Scar and the herd, their summer playground has become a winter killing field. Their only hope, Exodus. Ever shortening day finally signals to the herd the onset of the great annual migration. It's time to head south towards the sun in a grueling 1,000 mile trek to find food, light, and safety. Only the herd's dead will remain, life-giving sustenance for the predators who will stay here throughout the Arctic winter. The three-month odyssey will lead Scar and the other youngsters through perilous terrain. 
but with the herd to guide them, many will see it through. Across the Arctic, Edmontosaurus hear the call, coming together for safety in numbers. Even rival herds of Pachyrhinosaurus join the jostling masses. The march of the dinosaurs has begun. This is the start of a journey which will take the migrating dinosaurs through what is now northwestern Canada to the fertile coast of the inland sea that divides North America. They will face perils every bit as daunting as those they leave behind. Many of them will not survive. But not every herbivore is making the journey. Our female ankylosaur is too cumbersome and heavy for the 2,000 mile round trip. She will tough it out here at the pole and endure the ravages of the Arctic winter. Troodon are well adapted to survive the winter, but Patch must still learn how. <laughs> Feeding from the Gorgosaurus's kill is a risky business. But this could be their last decent meal for months, so it's a risk they need to take. Patch knows he's well done the pecking order. Hoping for a few scraps at best. But maybe it's better for him to stay out of the firing line for now. Because the king of the forest will not stand for anyone stealing his food. In summer, the Troodon would never fight a Gorgosaurus. But in winter, a fresh carcass is worth putting your life on the line for. Reckless Troodon inflicts a savage bite. But he that strikes the king must strike to kill or pay the price. <laughs> P. 
patch will stay hungry. As Gorgosaurus reclaims what is rightfully his. After one week, the migrating herds have reached the edge of the Arctic forest. So far, Scar is keeping up. But this open landscape is a hostile new world. They're exposed to the elements beneath a sky that holds unfamiliar threats. Scavengers, who know that this journey will take its toll. And soon, there's another surprise from above. Scar has never seen snow before. But the first flakes rapidly become a blizzard. There's only one way to cope with the freezing temperatures. Keep moving at all costs. The young are the most vulnerable. Their small bodies easily overwhelmed by the cold. If Scar can't keep up, he will be left behind to die. An old male spurs him on. With 20 winter migrations behind him, this adult has been through it all before. He provides some shelter from the weather and sets a pace the youngster can follow. Scar's new companion has problems of his own. There is a tumor growing in the veteran's brain. This could be his last migration. Back in the Arctic forest, it's getting colder by the hour. Patch's feathers are not quite enough to keep out the biting chill. Cold is not his only problem. He's still not eaten properly. and he needs to be in peak condition for what's in store. He's about to go head to head with his rivals.
It's every male for himself in a ritual that kicks off every winter. It's nesting season. As an adult, getting through the winter is about more than looking after number one. Patch must now also prepare for a family and learn how to attract a mate. Two hundred miles to the south, thousands of tons of determined dinosaur have battled their way through the blizzard. But in the whiteout, they've strayed completely off course and into deep trouble. There are deadly predators in the water. And Scar has never swum before. In the far north, the ankylosaur is coping as best she can. Her relentless foraging leads her into the darkest corners of the forest. Where danger lurks unseen.
In winter, injuries can have deadly consequences. A fight could kill them both. The Gorgosaurus hasn't got the stomach for it. The bite on his leg has become infected. He must rest and hope an easier victim comes his way. Deep winter now begins. As the sun sets, so starts the longest night on Earth. There will be no daylight for four months. Some may never see sunshine again. The Edmontosaurus have been moving south for almost a month, keeping one step ahead of the chasing night. The herd marches on its stomach, and they're now running on empty. Starvation and exhaustion are taking their toll. To Scar, the herd has always meant safety. But now the weaker ones begin to collapse and die around him. Ending their lives as meat on a volcanic wasteland. Quetzalcoatlus is the biggest flying animal of all time, with a 40-foot wingspan. For these scavengers, the migrating dinosaurs are their movable feast. At last, a tiny oasis of green in the barren wilderness. It's a rich reward for those who have made it this far. But there are too many mouths to feed. The Pachyrhinosaurus want the plants for themselves. Hunger drives one Edmontosaurus to fight his corner. but there can only be one outcome. A broken ribcage means a slow death for the desperate animal. But for the migrating herd, there's no looking back.
The herd moves on, entering the most dangerous part of the journey so far. To the west, amid a massive collision of continental plates, the rocky mountains are being formed. Violently. Uh, uh. As the land has twisted and buckled, volcanic eruptions have blanketed a huge area with ash. killing the plant life and any chance of food. And now, more trouble is stirring. Another ash cloud pumps into the sky, kicking off fierce storms. The air spits and crackles with electricity. Fine volcanic dust coats the lungs. And the toxic fumes mask the telltale scent of predators. There is no shortage of them. The herd is now walking into a killer's lair. Albertosaurus, a relation of Gorgosaurus, and all the more murderous because they hunt in packs. Each one three tons of teeth and stealth. It's been months since these creatures last fed. The winter feast will soon be served. In the Arctic, Patch's head feathers have turned a fetching yellow, which lets the females know he is ready to breed. Being ready is one thing, being able is quite another. In order to breed successfully, a male must first prove his homemaking skills. This older Troodon has found a perfect spot, nicely sheltered from the freezing wind. Patch has got it half right. But location is everything. He's chosen the wrong place to build. It's far too exposed. With the arrival of a female, the courtship ritual begins. Instinct and natural rhythm take over.
Patch is dancing hard, but his efforts aren't being appreciated. This female only has eyes for one Troodon. And it's not Patch. Dinner closes the deal. The older male knows the way to a woman's heart. Patch learns another harsh truth. When it comes to finding a mate, there's always someone else who's better at it. To the south, the migration of the Edmontosaurus herd keeps them just ahead of the zone of permanent darkness. They have walked 600 miles, more than halfway to journey's end in the southern forests. For a good many, this is as far as they will get. Because they're walking into an ambush. At the lip of the volcano, ice is no match for fire. Another eruption transforms the snow cap into a deadly avalanche of water, ash and rock. Oh, <sighs> 
Nature, which has so threatened Scar's survival, now comes to his rescue. But he's lost the most important thing in his world. The herd. The volcanic torrent has set like concrete. A desolate blanket over Scar's new world of total isolation. If the herd has survived, it has moved on. At last, a lone voice returns his call. the old dinosaur who held Scar through the blizzard, but a distance behind them, an old enemy refuses to lie down and die. Scar and the veteran continue south once more. Unaware that they have company.
In the high Arctic, night has now lasted for six weeks. Having mated, this adult male Troodon is doing his fatherly duty and looking after the eggs. He won't eat until they hatch in the spring. But Patch, well, his nest is empty. He did his best to mate, but his efforts have only made him more hungry. His courtship skills might be lacking, but he knows an opportunity for food when he smells one. The scent of fresh blood draws him in. Still hampered by his infected wound, the Gorgosaurus has been sustaining himself on small prey. But he's on the mend, and it won't be long before this tyrant is ready to spread terror through the forest once more. Not far away in the winter dark, the ankylosaur is still thinking of her stomach. She's utterly helpless. Far to the south, Scar and his traveling companion trudge on alone. A fresh sign of another dinosaur. But is it friend or foe? Oh. Oh. 
that Montesaurus struggles to take in this vital nourishment. As his brain tumour grows, he's becoming disoriented and unpredictable. Thrown together through disaster, this small band of the young, the ill, and the injured battles on. But the next day brings a glimpse of hope. Vast numbers of Edmontosaurus still soldier on, a moving fortress that will provide safety for the stragglers once again, if they can reach it in time. As the short day ends, they've fallen even further behind. The Pachyrhinosaurus is struggling most. There is nothing Scar or his companion can do for her. She must be abandoned to her fate. Scar's confused companion now does the unthinkable, veering away from the tracks left by the herd. Scar senses something is wrong, but it's in his nature to follow. The old dinosaur stops to rest and to seek shelter from the freezing wind. Normally, these animals would huddle together for warmth. But not this time.
It's a shock for Scar. One of his own has turned on him. He is bewildered and confused. And wounded. Back in the north, a warm weather front passes through, lifting the temperature above freezing for the first time in weeks. Patch works on mastering another of his natural gifts. His hearing is so sharp that even under two feet of snow, his prey can run, but it can't hide. Patch has finally become an effective hunter. Maybe he'll soon be ready to prove himself in the mating game. The ankylosaur has been trapped upside down for three days. With her soft belly exposed, she's become a target for marauding Troodon. They sense that she can still inflict injury. They'll bide their time and wait until she weakens. Vulnerable young Edmontosaurus, there is no rest. Scar's confused old companion has wandered off. He no longer offers any protection or guidance. Unfortunately, he's the only ally Scar's got. The old Edmontosaurus once kept Scar going and probably saved his life. Now, he no longer even recognizes him. Oh, my God. 
Scar turns to his one-time savior for protection. But he's wasting his time. Scar is on his own once more. His instincts, his only protection. The Troodon are closing in on the Ankylosaur. Gang members taunting a weakened victim. Even Patch is plucking up the courage to move in.
It's a crushing blow for the king of the forest. One there's no coming back from. The tables have turned. Scar has been slogging through the wilderness for three days, with only a frustrated scavenger for company. With every step, he becomes weaker and more vulnerable. But then, his efforts and struggle against all the odds are finally and spectacularly rewarded. He has found the herd, but they have already crossed the river, and it's cost them dear. Scar faces a stark choice, death from below, or from above. It's the end of the line. Paki Rhinosaurus may have fallen behind, but she got here in the end. She gathers a last meal before the final push across the river. With an armored giant to shelter behind, Scar is no longer the easy target he once was. His companion knows the safest way to cross the river. as part of a herd. But Scar must take care. His companions are almost as dangerous as the predators in the water.
For Scar, it's now or never. Scar has proved himself a true survivor. The fearful and naive young creature of the Arctic forest has grown up and come to the end of his epic journey. At last, he rejoins the herd, having earned his place amongst the most indomitable dinosaurs on Earth. They've marched over a thousand miles through the greatest hardship to reach this safe haven. with enough food to last until spring. When at last the sun will rise again in the far north. Bringing back a feast of plenty. Few will go hungry, and new parents will bring the next generation of dinosaurs into the world. And then the herds will set off once again, leaving their winter sanctuary, to return north to the Arctic summer paradise, where for each and every one of them, the great journey began. <laughs> <laughs>